Hello dear students we are doing chapter number 9 volume today we will do question number 6 to 13 of exercise 9.1 so let's start today in school at recess time jishan and gurvinder were eating their lunch with their classmates gurvinder said to jishan see my lunch box is bigger than your lunch box but jishan thought that Her lunch box is bigger. To find out whose lunch box is greater, they went to their teacher. Teacher said, "We can find out it by measuring volume of the lunch boxes. Firstly, we measured the length, breadth, and height of Jashan's lunch box. Students, as Jashan's lunch box is cubed, its volume will be length into breadth into height." After multiplying, we get one thousand two hundred centimeter cube. Now let's see Gurvinder's lunch box. It is also cuboid in shape. So we will multiply its length, breadth, and height. We get one thousand two hundred centimeter cube. The volume of Gurvinder's and Jashan's lunch boxes are same. So both lunch boxes are equal. Students, we can solve this question as follows: Length of Jashan's tiffin box is equal to fifteen centimeter, breadth ten centimeter, and height eight centimeter. Volume of Jashan's tiffin box is equal to length into breadth into height fifteen into ten into ten. After solving, we get one thousand two hundred centimeter cube. Like this, length of Gurvinder's tiffin box is equal to twelve centimeter, breadth. 10 cm and height 10 cm volume of gurvinder's tiffin box is equal to length into breadth into height 12 into 10 into 10 after solving we get 1200 cm cube so both tiffin boxes are equal students our next question there are two types of powder boxes available in the market one is of cubical with side 8 cm and other is of cuboidal shape with length 15 cm breadth 8 cm and height 4 cm which box has more powder and how much if both boxes has same price then which box will you prefer for this we will find the volume of both boxes volume of cubical box is side into side into side which is equal to 512 cm cube Volume of cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height, which is equal to four hundred eighty centimeter cube. So, students, cubical box is greater. Now we will solve it like this: side of a cubical powder box is equal to eight centimeter, and volume of cubical powder box is equal to eight into eight into eight. We get five hundred twelve centimeter cube. Now length of a cuboidal powder box is equal to fifteen centimeter, breadth eight centimeter, and height four centimeter. Volume is equal to length into breadth into height fifteen into eight into four. We get four hundred eighty centimeter cube. Students, volume of cubical box is greater, so it can contain more powder. Our next question: the length, breadth. and height of a biscuit packet is 15 cm 9 cm and 6 cm respectively if a packet has 30 biscuits then find the volume of each biscuit dear students for find the volume of one biscuit firstly we will find the volume of biscuit packet see students by multiplying length into breadth into height we will get 810 cm cube students this is the volume of 30 biscuits now what will we do for find the volume of one biscuit to find volume of one biscuit we will divide volume of biscuit packet with number of biscuits we get 27 cm cube this is the volume of one biscuit students we will solve the question like this length of a packet of biscuits is equal to 15 cm bread 9 cm and height 6 cm volume of a packet of biscuits is equal to 15 into 9 into 
After solving, we get 810 centimeter cube. Students, as volume of biscuit box is equal to 810 centimeter cube, then what will be the volume of one biscuit? Volume of packet of biscuit divided by number of biscuits. Students, number of biscuit in packet are 30. So, we will divide 810 centimeter cube with 30. After solving, we get 27 centimeter cube, which is the volume of one biscuit. Now, students, our next question is, what is the volume of a cube? Yes, students, volume of a cube is equal to side into side into side. Next question, what is the volume of a cuboid? Yes, students, volume of cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height. Students, the space occupied by a solid is called its volume. Today's homework. Students, do question number 6 to 13 of exercise 9.1 on your notebooks. Thank you. Have a nice day.